art and injustice. It's a topic being debated right now across the country. And Seattle's quirky Fremont neighborhood, home to a seven-ton statue of Vladimir Lenin, is also now home to controversy. Oh, oh. Some are demanding its removal. I think he'd say they've got it wrong. They're seeing this statue in terms of the Confederate statues around the country that were used to oppress people. There's no comparison, it's apples and oranges. Fran Dodson is the former wife of Lewis Carpenter. You might say I helped him buy it. The man who brought the statue over from Slovakia. If you ask Lou why he did it, he'd say for cookies, for fun. He thought that he was going to make a killing on it. The Issaquah man never flipped it for profit, but the couple did become good friends with artist Emil Venkoff, who was forced to forge the statue by the communist regime. This is his silent protest against communism because it was oppressive. She says the statue has hidden messages intended by the artist to be symbols of resistance. It shows Lenin not as a benevolent dictator, but as aggressive, stepping forward in an aggressive manner. This form is a rifle. These are the flames shooting up behind him. And here is another rifle and another rifle showing that he was a violent man. Blood on the hands came later. Well, I look at the red paint that somebody's added to his hand. There are posters on his backside. I don't think he's respected here. I think he's ridiculed. The ridicule has turned the statue into a tourist attraction. These young men are visiting from Russia. It's good to have it here because Maybe some people don't know what Lenin has done for Russia. Not exactly what Americans want to hear, but Dodson says her late husband would feel otherwise. He'd love it. He would love the, the activity, the controversy. After all, with controversy comes capitalism, potentially raising the statue's resale value, Carpenter's lifelong American dream. <laughs> In Fremont. I could see that happening. Lily Tan. That he also would enjoy just the value of how it's making people think. King 5 News.